Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back Cyber Angels. Thank you very much for all your likes and shares. You are the last but not the least. You are just as important as the rest. But you know that I've been saying that the one that has the most likes will be number one. Well, that was Gemini, Capricorn and Libra. Gemini first, Capricorn second and Libra third. But this is your reading for July 2020. The romance reading at that. And welcome as well if you are new and have just landed on this page. It is um, it will be a specific meaning or has a specific meaning you might get to know that after the reading because we do uh, things do happen for a reason I'm a firm believer of that welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you will be notified when I go live I go live Monday Wednesday Friday and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a, a donation and that is a super chat or a super sticker right now if you would like to have an extended reading a personal extended reading with me then please have a look underneath this video and there you will f uh, see the information or you can click in the top right hand corner in the white circle and it will take you to the website and there you can see all kinds of different readings on offer okay so uh, let's get started oh by the way Leo the competition is called off as nobody has entered uh, the competition so that is um, uh, laid off okay and what did come out in the discussion on Friday last Friday night uh, there was going to be an interaction about the competition what did come out is that nobody entered it and uh, the, uh, the viewers the cyber angels wanted more interaction with each other and with me so we are more often than I have been doing so I will be going uh, ag live again for discussion after the summer holidays so let's get uh, let's keep in contact and uh, we can discuss for example what did you do uh, at in your summer holidays and where did you go and did you find anything out and by the way if you are in Belgium by any chance then there is a tarot uh, museum go and have a look okay enjoy this reading and if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign let's get started with your first card that's the Queeran card or the overall energy and one week one week two week three week four and the clarifying cards Romance of the Angels, the Suggestion Card or Advice Card and Answer of the Angels. Your first card, that is you or could be the overall energy, I leave that up to you, is the Two of Wands. You are making plans for the future, the world, you are holding on to the world. That is a metaphor for the world is your oyster. You are making plans for the future perhaps you might have somebody in mind or you might be hooked up already and you are making plans for the future and hopefully with your partner or you are making potential plans to get a partner and what you would like to do like get married build a family or a house or a business well your wish is coming true you've got the nine of cups this week so if you're not um, hooked up then um, uh, your wish uh, of meeting somebody might come true this week I think you will but you must undertake action they're not going to knock on your door are they you have to go out there 
and now that the lockdown is eased off you can go out again and mingle now there could be um, an Aries around you that is interested in you and other fire sign Leo okay because you have the Emperor the Emperor is higher than the Kings as we know he knows how to delegate his kingdoms and again you have the ball that could be your crystal ball or your world you have the world and the world is your oyster but you know you might seek advice from a, an emperor an Aries or a professional being this could also be a father figure you might need uh, some professional advice about perhaps getting married because that is what your wish is and you've been planning for this because he is a man of municipalities and institution the Emperor uh, could be um, uh, a person at the registry office that is in an institution and a municipality Wow and that is in the second week so you are making plans you're not seeing something you're not seeing perhaps you're not seeing that an Aries is interested in you or that somebody else is interested in you if you're not hooked up if you are hooked up you're not seeing how much they love you that could be it as well and perhaps that's why you're seeking advice from somebody because you feel shut off you have closed off your heart you have closed off your solar plex you have closed your mind to ideas and your eyes to seeing so open up that heart open up that solar plex uh, take that blindfold off throw those swords away you don't want to fight so just open everything up and be open to receive and to see and to receive the love the nurturing the caring and take that blindfold off so that you can see who is giving it to you not only your father but an other man a man of stature that is what I'm seeing a man that is well read it could be an Aries but it could be anybody else but you do have a lot of fire in your reading and all in one row so you could be meeting somebody uh, in the second week or the third week some of the romance man's readings there's one or two other readings that are more orientated to work or business or money matters um, but of course you need money you need money to build that house you need money to to advance in study and um, make your partnership perhaps grow if you are a partner in business as well so perhaps you might need advice uh, on that to get a, perhaps you might want a house before you get married okay so you might need financial advice on how to adva uh, advance um, in in um, let me put it this way in your relationship because you both want perhaps a house because you do have the world the world is your oyster or how to travel together um, there's so how to advance how to learn to love each other when you've been a long time together we have to learn on how to keep our relationships in balance perhaps that is it perhaps you've shut yourself off because the the, the fun things the passion has gone because you've got a lot of fire and fire stands for passion and action perhaps it's all slowed, slowed down so that's why you might seek advice from a life coach or a psychic or somebody else that can show you the way to open up your heart and get passion and love again because so long your partner is with you 
they still love you and the same goes for you but it can become a uh, mundane and it can become a habit and that is where a lot of relationships go um, a strife okay um, when they get boring and we're not content anymore and we take things for granted perhaps it's not you perhaps it is your partner and um, perhaps you would like to fire up that uh, that love again and feel 17 perhaps the mind wants it but the body can't <laughs> okay well let's have a look what else you might feel that um, you have to defend yourself or your ideas um, if you are hooked up with uh, you might have to defend your ideas or lusts or your love to your partner well, talk. You might need somebody to talk to you and guide both of you at the same time. Perhaps you need a listening ear and advice on how to continue the relationship and bring out that inner child and open that heart and see what can be done. Okay. Perhaps that is your wish for more fun. Be careful what you wish for though. But your ship is coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. Your ship of abundance. Like I said, you've got a lot of action. Okay. And uh, action is work and passion, a hobby. Perhaps you want to find a new hobby that you can share with your partner or potential partner. You might be traveling by boat. Perhaps you might want to buy a boat and go away together. That's awesome. You might be going on holiday and crossing the sea. But your boat is coming in. Your boat of plenty. Okay. Now, your boat of plenty, that could be your wish. What you've been planning is coming towards you. So usually it is the three of pentacles where you see the ships coming in. But you have so many choices. And sometimes you have to defend your, your choices. That could be it. Now that it is a transformational period. If, um, if the, the passion has left or the, the, the excitement has left the relationship. Then this is a transformational period you are talking to somebody and you are seeking help so that you 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 can transform into this new beginning uh, you've got the coffin and the coffin means transformation a new beginning there will be a new beginning but you have to work together and you have to indulge in exciting uh, ideas like the reading says the world is your oyster and i think you'll have a, f a, a quite a few choices to make are you going to go on holiday are you going to buy, buy that house how can you improve your relationship or uh, yes your relationship your romance how can you bring the excitement back in is a holiday enough or is it working together or uh, is it going out together or it could even be is the word expansion here expansion children perhaps you might want to start a family you haven't been married that long but it is a bit sluggish and the excitement is gone so perhaps you want to get pregnant that could be also your wish and your other half doesn't want children at this moment because of the COVID and blah 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 and you're defending your wish whatever happens it's going to take new shape these are two new beginnings okay I'm not doing the cartomancy or the numerology but I'm just saying something is coming towards you so there will be an end where there is an end there is a new beginning transformation 
also leaving old stuff that you don't need anymore behind and picking up the new stuff and using that. There you go. To, to confirm, you are cutting with the old and you're cutting a new path for yourself and you're harvesting. Your wish is coming true. So your advice that you've seeked will have been good advice. So the advice could be know what you want. You can't make plans within a relationship for yourself. You have to do it together. Unless it is, of course, to make yourself more attractive, to be the beacon in the relationship, to attract your other half and fall in love with you all over again as if it was the first time. It does happen because we all have our ups and downs. Perhaps you've closed closed yourself off um, because you felt imprisoned in with the uh, lockdown and you're allowed to go out again and you're back to your old self but a better version. You're stronger than you think. Perhaps that is what you have learned as you have the book. The book means study or learning. Perhaps you've learned to be better than your old self and you've gained more wisdom, more life experience and that's why you've learned how, what to harvest and what to keep and what to cut away so that your life is not dull anymore so that you will open that heart up perhaps you realize that you have to keep an open heart um, in order to receive love and fun and nurturing and passion and sexuality and, sens and be sensual Whoa, this is amazing. This is definitely a good reading, Leo. You know, you can't li when you see a picture of a lion, it's usually the lion that is lying around and being the king of his kingdom or being the emperor of his kingdom. Well, perhaps you've learned that a partnership needs to give and take. Perhaps you are learning how to give more so that you can receive more and that the lioness is not, and um, this is metaphorically speaking, because you could be a Leo female and you could be the one that is not giving as much as the other half. Okay, And now what I'm saying is the emperor, the king, the lion is the emperor or, or king of his kingdom. And the lionesses in the real life, in the real world of the lion, the lionesses catch the food and look after the kids. And the king can eat first and they will eat the scraps after the kids have eaten. That's how it works in the kingdom, animal kingdom not in real life. We There needs to be balance. There needs to be equilibrium and quality, not quantity. Passion doesn't last. It will burn you out. Perhaps that is what you have learned and that is transforming you. You're coming out of your shell. You're opening up. You're sharing your care. You're sharing your love. You are a new person, a better version of your old version. Perhaps that is what you've been planning all along. Great stuff. Now, it just so happens, past life relationship. Yes, well, if you are a new, new form of yourself, then yes, you will have had a past life relationship with yourself also with a potential or your partner because you you are different and they will notice it they will notice you as the beacon of passion and love again but much more nurturing much more loving 
and this is being realistic twig where you have to twig in yourself and the relationship you have known each other before and you do know each other if you are hooked up but they will see the changed you now if you are not hooked up you might be hooking up with somebody from the past or that you've known for a long time surrender to rest and sleep wow and I was talking about being burnt out take it gentler throw away what is of no use okay a relationship needs nurturing quality equilibrium not quantity quality so take some quality time out with your partner or a potential partner wow. to prevent burnout slow down honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind body body and spirit now the angels are giving you also an answer improving health perhaps that is why you withdrew into yourself and closed yourself off because you were getting bored with this lockdown you felt imprisoned and you need to go outside the lion is a, a, um, a create creature of nature and they need to go outside they need to feel free I think you do too and I hope you will go outside and heal take time out to think about things and come out of yourself go once a day or twice a day take 10 minutes for yourself and then go within and meditate contemplate and evaluate and that's how you can cope better because a rejuvenated and rested you will enhance you and your relationship and your surroundings I hope you've enjoyed this reading and thank you again for liking and sharing I hope you will continue to do so if you want to be number one would like to be number one then make sure you hit those thumbs the like button take care and Hope you have a fantastic month. Ciao, ciao. Enjoy yourself.